Hi there, this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI and today is the 2nd of November so let us uh, take a look at this match Arsenal versus Wolverhampton uh, Wanderers okay this is a very very interesting match okay so what happened is um, a lot of people when they are placing bets on soccer and I used to tell them that almost uh, 80% of the matches and the main leagues right we are talking about main leagues uh, such as the leagues that you can see on the screen uh, Premier League, Championship, League 1, League 2 um, sorry uh, Championship, uh, League 1, uh, Italian Serie A, Serie B, uh, Spanish La Liga etc German League, Portugal League, uh, French uh, Division 1 and 2, Dutch Division 1 and 2 Portugal Division 1 and 2 okay these are considered the main leagues and I will say that 80% of the matches are fixed okay but what happened is uh, they do they fix the match in a way that uh, it aligns with statistics okay the historical uh, results etc and what I'm going to show you is uh, something that nobody is actually teaching on the internet why because um, Right now on the internet, there isn't anybody that's teaching you how to read uh, handicap, opening odds, uh, odds movement. Uh, nobody is telling you about uh, market consensus and things like that. So when you don't have all this data, you're basically just betting blind. And why do I say that the matches are fixed? Because I've been actually placing bets over the past uh, almost like 20 years and I've actually analyzed more than like um, easily more than 20,000 20, matches so we have seen a lot of times where certain goals are being scored and you know and more importantly you know when the bookmakers are offering um, uh, handicap odds especially for in play the moment a goal is being scored uh, straight away they can open the handicap and then from the handicap you you can know that there's a strong handicap or weak handicap so what do I mean by strong handicap if let's say after being a goal is being scored and then they open like half ball but then the odds is 1.80 it's actually a strong handicap if uh, it's a half ball but then 2.05 odds is a weak handicap right imagine if let's say uh, it's, uh, if they're opening a quarter ball handicap 1.85 or 1.080 odds that's a strong handicap but if they open like uh, Quarter ball handicap, but then is the odds is 2.05 or 2.08. That's a weak handicap. So how is it that the system is able to open the the new odds, whether it's strong handicap and weak handicap, instantaneously? That is because before every match is being played, the bookmakers already know what is the likely outcome of the match, and then they will already. Uh, be indicating like uh, putting inserting the predictive uh, outcome uh, let's say they know that this game is going to be a two all or three one or whatever so they will actually so imagine if let's say it's a two one game and then the moment uh, one goal is being scored probably they'll open a, a weak uh, half ball or or quarter ball handicap but then if they think that it's going to be a, a two goal win for the home team after one goal is being scored they will still continue to open a, a strong handicap Okay, all these things uh, sounds a bit uh, complicated and very complex. It is complex. And there's a reason why uh, it's important to understand uh, how to read handicaps in depth. Okay, uh, you want to find out more about that, you can actually uh, sign up for the course. But then you, you can also subscribe to our videos. I'll share with you a glimpse of uh, what all this uh, handicap is all about. Okay, so going back to the match. Arsenal versus uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers okay so the the match opened at uh, one ball right and then it actually went up to a uh, quarter ball uh, three quarter ball uh, handicap so what happened is this you need to know what the games uh, what kind of uh, games the, the bookmaker is trying to play so for those guys who are who don't know anything about handicap for example, if the bookmakers feel that Arsenal is going to win the game, they'll off pr probably open the handicap at either like a 3 quarter ball, 1.8 ball, 1.80 odds. Either that or they'll open at uh, open a match at uh, minus 1 ball handicap at 1.80 odds. But then they open the, the, 
the uh, opening handicap is 2.05 right so after 2.05 the odds will go up to maybe like uh, 2.15 and in this case the odds actually went up to 2.23 right so it's another indicative signal that you know the, the bookmakers are feeling that the home team is not going to win and then if you were to look at the the head to head record is actually a 1-1 one, one draw okay the most amazing part is this the bookmaker is trying to give you uh, trying to fool the market telling the people that um, seems like more a lot of people are actually accepting the handicap but what happened is when you look at the market consensus right you can see that 75% of the people is actually taking Arsenal right at the one ball handicap as well as a three quarter ball handicap so so what happened is by right if let's say Arsenal is um, if the bookmakers were to go along with the if they are not manipulating the odds uh, typically the odds would be probably from 2.05 uh, minus one ball you go to like um, 1.25 ball handicap or 1.5 ball handicap so that the, the the bookmakers can actually balance the bets right but it didn't work out that way so they were actually trying to entice people uh, to to take uh, Arsenal and because those guys who don't know how to read the, the opening odds so if you don't know the opening odds is 2.05 right it's a it's actually a very weak uh, opening odds right like i mentioned if it's strong it's going to be 1.80 1.85 so what happened is um for those guys who don't know what happened they'll be thinking oh from one ball handicap the thing dropped to three quarter ball handicap hence there should be more people eating when you don't know what's happening behind the scenes people like me who knows uh, uh, the market consensus is 75 percent will be taking the away team and that's the reason why we accept uh, the, the handicap of uh, of uh, 0 0.75 okay so if you like this video uh, please give a like and subscribe to the channel to find out more about the course you can just uh, visit uh, www.sportstradingai.com and you can check out the tip results as well as the track record at the link below thank you